Hey guys, my name is Vivek Sharma and uh, today I wanted to discuss this uh, problem that's called the Straubberg grammatic number and the number flavor of this number is basically they are explaining it should be same when we rotate its 180 degree angle right look at upside down so let's see and uh, we need to write a function to determine if a number is Straubberg grammatic and the number is represented as a string okay so if we see 6 and 9 and if you will reverse this as a 180 degree then this will again be 69 right similarly 88 similarly 962 so 962 is false because 96 this is uh, this pattern number where you will reverse this 180 degree it will be same but 2 is violating this rule right so because of 2 it should be false so yeah this is the problem and uh, now let's see uh, first of all let's try to understand that what this problem is first of all the definition of this is strobic grammatic number right and they already giving the definition that when we rotate 180 degree it's same so now let's try to figure it out what are the numbers and that they follow the same rule so for example 0 right 0 is one number if you will just reverse this it will be the same similarly 1 right so uh, let me explain in some other way whenever we go to railway station or any other like airport or something right and they have the big clock and in that clock basically they just display some digits like one two so we need to understand basically in that format and uh, so here we can clearly say six if you will just uh, reverse this as a 180 degree six it will become nine and nine if you will reverse this 180 degree it will be six right so ultimately it will be again 69 even if you will reverse in the 180 degree similarly 8 in 8 right so what i what i mean to say like if you will go to the railway station and all those they have the big clocks and there uh, those digits basically you can consider in your mind so that you can just easily just rotate and just you can see that uh, this is how it should work uh, with the 180 degree rotation so 0 and 1 and then other numbers will be 6 9 similarly 8 so these are all the numbers that they follow the same rule definitely if you will rotate 2 it's not going to be the same right so i really apologize if i could not explain what this number is and how we will do because i i really wanted to show in the paints and all but i have some constraint so that even if i want to show that somehow this tool that i am recording it's not that much compatible so i can just share the browser right now but uh, this is the idea so if you are clear about the definition of this uh, strobogrammatic number what it is and all right then we can just directly think that how to solve this problem but if you are still not clear i will just recommend that then just uh, go ahead to the wikipedia and just learn that but the simpler way as I, ex as I explained will be just to visualize these numbers from the railway station platform or from the airport and wherever the digital clock is there so wherever the digital clock you will see you will just have those digits and you can easily rotate those in your mind and then you can see okay how they look like in actual so yeah so let's say these are all the numbers that we have to consider right so and then probably we already see the pattern here 96 sorry 69 that it will be the strobe grammatic right because if you will rotate this as a 180 degree then it will be again 69 right similarly 88 so one i i mean there there may be several ways right you can just apply some tricks or you can just think uh, in some other manner but here we will just uh, follow the brute force and brute force means like just take some kind of the map right and we were where we will just doing the mapping uh one to one mapping like for example six correspond uh six uh, the number reverse number of 6 is 9 right so we will just put 6 and 9 and then again 9 and 6 and 8 and 8 and 1 and 1 and 0 and 0 so like this 0 0 this is one map 
and I mean of course one map will have all this map in and uh, six nine nine six zero zero right so for example if I am having already all these map that's having the key value pair and if I know this is my string then what I will do I will just check so for example I got six right I will just go ahead and I will check whether six I am having in the my map right it's having and corresponding to six the value is nine right so I will just check in my number start I mean the beginning index is having six and corresponding end index is having nine or not if it is there then basically it's the stereogrammatic number if it is not there then it's not that's the simple approach we are going to follow okay so if we understood this approach then it's fairly straightforward in that manner okay so what we will do we will just go from starting and the end at the same time and we will just keep keep checking whether it's having the corresponding this stereogrammatic grammatic number or not right if it is there then it's fine if it is not then then we have uh, not this valid number so let's go ahead and let's try to build the approach and the reason I am taking this character because it's a string and we want to literally basically just want to store the characters of this map right so let's do this I'm having the map and then just in the map let's go ahead and put all these characters that we again uh, we just discussed right so zero zero and similarly let me go ahead and copy paste all these things right so let's go ahead and do this one one six nine nine six and of course eight and eight right so if we are able to build this map then I think we are half way right so start is zero let's say because we will just iterating from starting and ending itself right so let's say for this example this six and nine right so we will just check in like six is having the corresponding grammatic number or not in the end location right so that's the reason I'm taking these two pointers here so num dot length minus one okay now let's go ahead and just uh, do the simple this uh, start is less than end okay so okay now let's go ahead and just check if my <coughs> num dot caret start if it is not equals to uh, if it is not equals to my end location right so here I will just be checking let let me not over complicate this let me just start from the star from uh, very simple thing then I will just wrap it around the map so that it will not confuse it will not not add in add any confusion right so this is the uh, this is the way basically right and this is start and end we already have in the map so that's why I just wanted to check it in the map itself but so let me now check this here the reason I am doing the map get or default the reason to do that basically just to avoid the null pointer in case we get right so just do this so for example this end right in the end basically if it is not in the map then if I don't use the get or default then it will throw the null pointer exception so for example if I use only get then basically that will throw it will not find in the map and it will throw the null pointer so I wanted to avoid the null pointer exception here so for example if it is not equal then go ahead and return false and we just want to increase and decrease our because these are the two ended right so let's say this is the example 69 here in the left left pane so we want to start from beginning index and then at the same time we want to start from the 
end index as well so we are just it's a two end basically we are traversing we are traversing from the two end from the beginning and from the end itself at the same time so we are just increasing and decreasing the pointers okay so yeah that's it and uh, for example if it is not there then it will return true so now let's uh, revisit this check start and end right so start is less than end it will just take care all the uh, all the string that's having more than one length and let's say i am having the input as one length only then this check will fail here right because it's checking start is less than end so i have to put a start is less than equals to end the reason i'm doing because for example it's having only one character then it will not enter in this loop right because zero uh, will not zero should be less than uh, this length minus one so if i do less than start is less than end zero will not be less than zero right so it should be equal to zero and that's the reason we want to cover that case as well that's why we have to do the start is less than equals to end so yeah let's uh, try to see 962 so 962 is false right it's false okay now let's cover some happy cases 96 it should be true because if we reverse by the 180 degree it should be true itself now let's cover 69 so it should be true okay very good so it's covering the cases but we will just go ahead and try to submit and we'll see how it's going and then we can just uh, do the okay so i think it's uh, accepting so it's good so now uh, the time and space complexity wise right so time complexity wise because it's two ended right so we are just traversing from the starting and end itself so but by the way we are just doing the half iterations we are not going through the whole length itself right so it's always ny2 so we can say it's ny2 because but uh, we don't care of the constant when we run the uh, overall complexity so overall complexity will be it's still linear right will be off and uh, but the exact complexity should be n by 2 right because we are just doing the half iteration the space complexity wise because we are maintaining this hash map so it will be order of n right and uh, here where n is the length of a string of given a string right so this is the analysis of this problem but uh, yeah just feel free to uh let me know your views comments or whether i just explain in the complicated manner or it was easy to understand so that i can just improve as well thanks a lot have a good one enjoy bye